Hi, I'm Joe from Kinsta. Today we're excited to tell you about WordPress 6.2. In this video, we'll look at the top features introduced with this release and what they're all about. For a more in-depth review, check out our blog post. It's linked in the description below. All right, let's see what's new with WordPress 6.2. Several improvements to the editor interface come to core. First up is Browse Mode. The first and most interesting update affects the site editor interface. Thanks to a new browse mode, it is now easier to navigate through templates and template parts. A new interface also allows you to add a new template or template part directly from the editor's sidebar simply by clicking on the plus icon located on the right of the menu title. The workflow is now smoother and seamless. To start editing the current template or template part, just click on the Edit button placed on the left menu or on the template preview in the middle of the page and feel free to customize any element on the page. When you're happy with your changes, just save your edits and exit the editor. Or if you're not, navigate back to the Template or Templates Part section, find the Manage All Templates menu, pick the template you've just changed and click Clear Customizations and you're done. Next up is Stylebook. A new Stylebook feature allows users to preview any block that can be used on their websites without having to add those blocks to a template or template part. That now shows up in the Styles header within Global Styles. This opens up an interface for showing a preview of every core and third-party block by category. The new Stylebook interface simplifies the design process by making previews of every block style available in a single centralized location. The same interface also provides previews of individual blocks. As an example, the following image shows the preview of a customized calendar widget. Again, when you're happy with your changes, save your edits and exit the editor. If you're not, you can easily reset your edits from the panel that shows up when you click on the Options button. Next, we'll look at the improved block inserter and the Openverse integration. The block inserter is affected by several changes that significantly improve the overall editing experience. First, a new interface design improves navigation between pattern and media categories and provides larger previews for patterns and media items. If you have media on the site, a media tab shows up in the block inserter to simplify media insertion within the content. You can drag and drop images or media or simply click on your media to add it to the content. Inside the tab, an Open Media Library button brings you to the WordPress Media Library. But there's more. The Block Inserter now includes an additional Openverse tab. Openverse is a tool that aims to share openly licensed or public domain works for use by anyone. Now with WordPress 6.2, Openverse is integrated right into the Block Inserter. To access this feature, click on the Media tab of the Block Inserter. This shows a panel with a search field and image previews directly taken from the Openverse repository. Next up is the widget to block migration. Starting with WordPress 6.2, users running a site using a classic theme who decide to switch to a block theme can migrate their existing widget areas to the new theme, converting them into template parts. Let's find out how it works. First, create a widget area in a classic theme. For example, you could activate the 2011 theme and add a calendar to the footer area number one. Now, change the theme to 2023. Open the site editor, choose a template to edit, and add a template part. In the block sidebar, select the widget area to import from the import widget area drop-down menu. And that's it. Now you can manage your previous widget area like any other template part. Okay, that covers what we think are the most notable features with this release. We also want to quickly tell you about a few other features. It's time for what we call the rapid fire. First, the tabbed block inspector. Block settings are now divided into tabs to separate style settings from other block settings. This improves the usability of the interface, especially for advanced blocks with many configuration options, such as the navigation block. If available, the Block Inspector tabs will be displayed in the following order. List View. This panel includes controls for managing the block's children, such as submenus and links in the navigation block. Settings. This includes configuration settings not related to the appearance of the block. And last, Appearance, which includes settings that are specifically related to the styling of the current block, such as typography and colors. Next up is Copy and Pasting Styles Between Blocks. 
A new group on the options menu of the Blocks toolbar now displays two options to copy styles and paste styles. All right, next is Apply Block Changes Globally. An Apply Globally button now appears under the Advanced panel for individual blocks in the Styles interface. This button allows you to push your block style changes to global styles and apply those changes across the entire website. Last is Shadows and Global Styles. In themes supporting this feature, you can add shadows to buttons from the Global Styles interface. To see this in action, activate the 2023 theme, navigate to Styles, Blocks, Button, and then click on the Shadow button. A shadow pop-up allows you to select a shadow from the theme presets. Theme developers and advanced users can also add a shadow to blocks using theme.json. And you can also define presets to give theme users the ability to select one from the Styles interface. Once defined, your presets appear in the shadow panel in the block styles. That's a wrap. Tell us, what do you think about this new release? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. By the way, if you're looking for a great way to host your WordPress site, check out Kinsta at kinsta.com slash WordPress hosting. We have solutions for single sites all the way up to agencies and enterprises hosting multiple sites. And thanks for watching today.